The moment he was drafted, Nathaniel Moody became a fan favorite for fans of the Denver Broncos, largely because of the hype around him. Here he was, a player that was viewed as a second or third round pick, falling to the sixth round because of injuries. It was a good place to take the risk on Moody by the Broncos and all the development he needed because it paired him with Mike Munchak. There is no denying that this was a good pick because of the value used to take a high upside player with a known medical risk. Now it really falls on Moody and Munchak to get him developed to possibly be a steal of the 2020 draft because of the early returns, they were not good. While he showed flashes in his 122 snaps, 61 snaps in two different games, there was a lot more bad play to be concerned about. Looking at the Carolina Panthers game, first you can see his potential as a run blocker, but in pass protection, he was a risk to the quarterback. Then in the season finale, Moody was not a good run blocker or in pass protection and just was a problem for the offense overall that they had to overcome. Now, this isn't writing Moody off by any means because there are plenty of reasons for those struggles in those two games. Not only was he a rookie getting his first action and making a huge jump in the level of competition, he also only played 19 games in college. So it isn't shocking that he was as bad as he was in those two games. But the good news is there's only one way for him to go and that is up. Hopefully the Broncos see the needed growth and development from Moody in camp because right now, he is looking to compete for a starting job in 2022. For Mile High Huddle, I'm Eric Trickle.